we know the gift within the art cannot be owned. We know it intuitively. And so we feel that it shouldn't be altered. So what is that thing? What is that thing? I want to talk a little bit about the idea of giving and gifts in traditional cultures. And I, I gave you that timeline a little bit back, and I said that the human lived for 95, 99% of its history in small, nomadic cultural groups in which giving of gifts had some very specific frames and ways about it. <clears throat> so one of the things I'm going to suggest here is that cultural symbiosis is a kind of, is, shows up as reciprocity. And I'll tell you what reciprocity is. First, there are three obligations found in all traditional societies. There's an obligation to give. There's an obligation to receive a gift. So you actually aren't allowed to say no thank you. You actually have to receive. And there's an obligation to reciprocate. Now if you think about what happens there is, if I say, Jonah, man, you're so incredibly stylish. I just really want to give you this hat. Jonah's going to have to take the hat. <laughs> and now what happens now is Jonah has an obligation to reciprocate. He doesn't have to reciprocate to me. This is a really key point. But he cannot hold on to that energy that's in that hat that I made from felt myself. Because indigenous peoples don't go to the store. They make everything. So I would have made that hat and I gave it to Jonah and he took it. Because I love Jonah. And now Jonah's like, wow, I got this cool hat. And then now Jonah's going to gift someone else. And what it does is it establishes connection and obligation. Not in a bad sense, though. It's this feeling, it's an energy. And I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to connect the gift of the thing I created and gave him with this idea of something which can't be bought and sold. So <clears throat> gifts among indigenous people carry a life force. 